Hello and welcome everyone. I am Manic Mink and this is Xenonauts. I almost said XCOM, but it's not. Uh, Xenonauts is the uh, sort of modern take on the original XCOM. So if you guys watch my uh, XCOM Enemy Unknown or Enemy Within playthrough, um, you guys would be kind of familiar with the basic premise, Aliens Evade Earth. You are tasked with stopping it. Uh, so this is the sort of modern take on the original XCOM, so you'll see how it's quite a bit different. Set in the 1980s, and it is quite fun. I played a little bit of it already, but uh, we will... Yeah, we'll, we'll play on normal, because I'm scared. Um... Iron Man, uh, b -b 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 no, I won't. There's no achievements for it, so there's no point in Iron Manning it. Uh, okay, so this is your Geoscape. This is the the fancy hologram of the world that you saw in the original er, in uh, Enemy Unknown XCOM. Uh, and I I don't mean to draw so many comparisons to it, but it's it's kind of XCOM, you know. And you'll see if you've ever played the original XCOM, you'll see what I mean when we actually get down to it. Um, so here we are selecting our primary base. You don't, like in this one, you don't just put it somewhere, you know? You don't just go like, okay, well I'm going to put it in the U.S. and that covers a satellite in the U.S. No, you actually pick where you put your base. And as you can see, this sort of blue circle as I move around, that's actually the radar coverage of your uh, of your uh, base, of your satellite, of where you can spot and shoot down enemy UFOs. Uh, so it's actually really advantageous to sort of place yourself in an area where you can cover a lot of things. Like here, you know, you can cover a bit of Australia, a bit of Asia, a bit of China. You know, here you can cover, you know, most of the U.S., a bit of Canada, as well as uh, the northern part of South America. Um, you know, here you get a lot of the middle of Europe and Asia. Um, I'm going to put my base, I think, right here. Sort of at the edge of, I guess, what would be modern-day Egypt, I suppose. Because uh, it covers almost all of Europe. You can see there's just a bit of, like, Sweden and Norway. And the northern kind of tip of Scotland and Ireland there. Uh, as well as the entirety of the Middle East, pretty much, and most of South Africa. Or most of Africa. So we'll put our base there, we'll name it Northern Africa. Sure, that's our base name. Uh, so this is our base. If we actually go inside, this is what our actual base looks like on the inside. And I want to start building some stuff. I want another hangar, definitely. Um, we will go with... Um, I'm going to go with two more radar arrays. Uh, one, two. Um... Another living quarters, uh, and I want to rotate this one. Put it there, I suppose, and then a medical center here. Medical center helps your troops recover, I believe. Actually, here you can see. No, it doesn't say. Um, but workshops a lot here. I'll, I'll just go through them. Radar rays uh, increase your radar size, so you can see more uh, hangars. You can carry more ships, as you can see. We have two jet fighters here and one. Uh, looks like a, some sort of horrifying pod creature, but it's actually a helicopter. Uh, it's one uh, transport, essentially. Uh, living quarters allows you to hire and recruit more people to live uh, in your base. Storerooms uh, will increase your storage size. Um, laboratories do research, house scientists. Workshops uh, build things and house engineers. Medical centers help you uh, recover your troops better. And garages, uh, you can build uh, vehicles and store them there. Missile batteries defend your base. Uh, so we're gonna build, we're gonna go with those, first of all. Um, the first thing I wanna do also is hire five more scientists. As you can see, we're full on lab space then. We're also be gonna be full on living space. Uh, it's also gonna cost a bit, but it's worth it. Um, our first research is the alien invasion, so we want to uh, research what the hell's happening. Um, our list of soldiers, we can't actually hire any soldiers at the moment. Uh, nothing in our storerooms at the moment. Uh, and these are our actual soldiers, so we have an assault. 
Uh, a sniper. Another assault. Rifleman. Heavy weapons lady. Uh, rifleman, rifleman, and rifleman. And as you can see, everybody's from a different area. This guy's Dutch. This guy's Australian. Uh, he's American, Danish. American, Soviet. Uh, American and Canadian. Uh, and then we also have some unassigned people, Soviet and Greek. Um, these are our people. These are the basic roles. We don't have... It. This is the equipment that we have at the moment. We don't got that much. Uh, we're kind of just going to be waiting for uh, research. Um, no vehicles present. Our ships are... Our, our uh, planes are currently okay. We have two Condors and a Charlie which is our helicopter ship. As you can see, our troops are arranged in there. Uh, that's all our kind of civilopedia, and we'll crank up the time and see what happens. Uh, okay, so we have our first UFO. It is small. It is going at 1,600 uh, meters, or it's flying at 1,600 uh, meters speed, 1,400 kilometers an hour. So let's intercept. We will send... Uh, we'll send one of our condors here. Launch. Uh, and as you can see, it'll take some time for it to actually reach. Uh, there's an abduction reported. Uh, no, you know, we'll return to base because we lost it already. Now our ship will uh, actually... Oh, hold on. Ship's going to refuel. Okay, center on UFO. That's, I think, maybe the same one, actually. So let's send our other one that isn't refueling at the moment. Shoot it down. Come on. Get to it, at least. Alright, so let's engage the target. This is air combat. A lot cooler, huh? Um... So we are paused at the moment. These are afterburners, uh, loop-de-loops, uh, and abort. Um, evasive rolls. So we are going to be intercepting this UFO, or trying to intercept this scout, uh, and then trying to shoot it down. We have two missiles and an autocannon. Uh, I want to keep my finger on that. Oh my god, we got shot down. No! Well, we... Damn it. Okay, well, we lost our ship. We lost our Condor. But we did also shoot down... Well, we kind of did. I mean, we, we captured it and rebuilt it. We also did shoot down uh, a UFO. Um, thing is, it splashed down in the sea, so... We don't need to, we don't need to go and catch it. It's, it's gone. Um... Mm hmm I want to see, I want to check on these ships, see when they're going to be rebuilt. Is that an engineering thing, maybe? Is that... No, okay. I think it just rebuilds on its own. We'll continue here. Uh, so we have completed the alien invasion uh, research. As you probably noticed, we've been invaded, Commander. Uh, so I won't state the obvious. Situation is bleak. Nothing the, the major powers are able to defend their own airspace, let alone protect the rest of the planet. Uh, it's up to us. My team stand ready to help. There may only be a handful of us, but some of the finest minds on the planet are at work in your laboratories. This organization offers a certain freedom from intrusion that appeals to those of intelligence. As you can see, those are all the alien ships there. The key to beating our enemies is understanding them. We are keen to study any extra extraterrestrial equipment you can recover. In the meantime, we've been gathering intelligence on the size and composition of the fleet orbiting our planet. Uh, most of the images and data obtained from orbital satellites or ground-based observatories. Uh, given the depressingly disjointed response on the rest of the planet, this is probably the most in-depth study of the invasion to date. Uh, we can conclu conclusively identified over 3,000 separate UFOs in orbit, uh, several times that amount uh, of additional probable signals. Uh, fleet is comprised of craft of various sizes. UFOs already sighted entering our air atmosphere represent the smallest orbital signatures. Uh, largest uh, appear to be enormous warships with dimensions rivaling that of mo modern aircraft carriers. 
Glimmer of hope remains. Aryan craft seem poorly suited for atmospheric flight. Our interceptors may enjoy some early success against the superior extraterrestrial vessels, simply due to better adaptation to combat environment. Uh, this may also explain the appearance of only relatively small craft. Uh, our scientists theorize that the aliens have to modify their craft to enter our atmosphere. The larger the craft, the longer it'll take. The largest craft will only appear in the later stages of the invasion. Perhaps this will afford us enough time to organize more effective defense. I have two recommendations that we consider supplementing our existing Condor aircraft with a heavier interceptor capable of carrying more heavy, powerful weapons, uh, and that we investigate some form of battlefield support to aid uh, our soldiers while securing crashed aircraft. Uh, so let's go to the research screen, uh, and we will. I'm going to go for high-speed interceptor because we just we just showed that we really need a better uh, better aircraft. So we will increase the speed again. So now we have to secure a crashed UFO with ground forces, which we are I'd love to do. But uh we have to wait for one to show up. Uh so we have more scientists who have arrived. Go to the base. Um scientist. Increase you. Uh then go back to the world screen and continue waiting. Okay, UFO, 1600, small. Uh, this is grounded for 37 more hours, so we gotta launch uh, an interceptor after it. Let us... You know what, since I fucked up last time, I'm just gonna auto-resolve to victory. Um, health 100, ammo 20%, fuel 85%. So let us return to base. So this is crashed, as you can see. Crash site kinda near Budapest in Hungary. So we're gonna send Condor, we're gonna select the crash site. And you can do a couple things. You don't actually have to respond to every crash site. You can just blow it up from the air. Kill all the aliens. You don't recover anything other than some money, $15,000. But we actually want to go and intercept this with our aircraft. So let's... Uh, interceptor... Um, I'd prefer to wait for you to actually get back to base a little bit. Except, uh, ammo 20%. I don't like that 20% ammo. I'd much prefer a bit more. Okay, so we'll engage here, and then we'll deal with the other aircraft when we get back. So here we are. We're actually going to be landing soon. Uh, and we will be engaging in our first ground combat, which I'm excited to show you guys. I haven't played a little bit, um, I played the, like through the first sort of shit. It's also nighttime. Uh, I should have waited. Um, basically, crash sites are different from landings. Crash sites, a lot of crew members are dead on impact. Uh, recoverable items have probably been destroyed. Um, this is also a night mission, which means our visibility is quite low. So I'll send you out here. Um, you are a sniper, so let's... No, it's you there. Uh... So, yeah, this is a night mission, which means we have uh, pretty low visibility at the moment. Keep your turn there. Um, you are a heavy weapons person. I actually shouldn't have moved you all the way out there. Those are horrifying sounds. I have no idea what they are. Um, let's... You crouch. Take a normal shot if you see anyone. You, we can move up here. Also crouch. Okay, so that's enemy movement. Uh, there's also civilians and stuff. There's other people on the map. Um, so we are, looks like, are we in the bottom right corner maybe? Yeah, so we're in the bottom right, bottom left corner of the map, sorry. 
Um, let's say we move. up to here uh, this is you see it's a lot more tense than original XCOM or than uh, enemy unknown XCOM Stay here. Keep an eye on that area. I want to know where the hell that's coming from, but I don't know. Okay. The other problem is, is it's nighttime, which means uh, basically no no real visibility to speak of. Um, we do have flashlights. All of our, our all of our troops do have. Uh, I think that's a flashlight. No, that's a grenade. Okay, never mind. Uh, we all do have flashlights. It's just uh, we don't. Let's. Um, I'll say don't reserve anything for a shot. You also come up here. So they are shooting at somebody, um, but not us. I don't necessarily mind that. Wasn't entirely what I meant to do, but okay. Okay, so we know that that is the... This is also the edge of the map, so we probably have to move that way, honestly. You near this door. Um, you... Let's go here. Um, people being in cover is important, but not nearly as important as uh, Enemy Unknown XCOM. Okay, so... Nothing. Okay. Nothing. Here then, you let's go over here. Where the hell are they? UFO's got to be somewhere over in this area, then I think. I mean, right? That sounds. I don't want to put you there just because I don't know if those are explosive barrels or not, and I don't want to find out the hard way. Doors opening and closing. Okay. Um, there is an upstairs, but I don't think they'd be upstairs. That door is open. That door wasn't open before, was it? It definitely wasn't. Holy crap, what are you? Um, I can't tell if you're a guy or a...
You must be a guy. Yep, you went, uh, you went when I shot at you, so you are therefore a guy. Let's say none, and let's... There we go, kill them. So that was our first alien. Uh, I did not even know that was an alien. I was like, I can't tell if that's an alien or just a civilian. It's a weird thing, whatever the hell it is. I've never seen it before. Uh, who has not moved? You have moved? I actually want you to post up over there, please. Again, potentially explosive barrels I don't really want to fuck with. I actually do want to see what you are. Sason Guard. You have a rifle thing. Actually, move some people over this way. Um, you have some movement left. We'll breach into this building next. Um, holy shit! Okay, we didn't see someone over there. Problem. Uh, very problematic. Okay. So you have panicked. Um. Right. Take a shot at him. Okay, uh, you... How much do I need to take a shot? 24 for a normal shot? Damn it. Uh, you have panicked. You... Killed him. Awesome. Good job, everyone. Uh, let's... Move you over here, and again, I'll point you that way. You move over here. Everybody has health, uh, action points, and morale. Uh, I think that's morale, right? Yes, morale. Thought so. Um, and they sort of spend those depending on what they're doing. Now my sniper's in a bad place, so I'd like to get you back to here, please. Thank you. Okay. There's dead people. And 
there's more dead people. Um... You, let's run you over to here. We'll come in through this way. Uh, who doesn't? Who hasn't moved a lot? Uh, you can make them crouch. Uh, crouching increases aim. Obvi well, I say obviously. Seems pretty obvious why it would do that. Uh, do you want to get someone in here just to cover that area? Okay, and the assault there. All right. So we still have some more enemy movement. Those guys obviously made away from the crash site. Uh, though they didn't appear to be that... What are you? Say some guard? Yeah, same things. They didn't appear to be that... buff, or that strong, or that... really anything. They kind of seemed a bit weak, honestly. Take a snapshot if you see anybody. You run over here. Take a snapshot if you see anybody. You... I'm gonna run my sniper all the way over here. Can't have you take a shot. Um... No? Okay. That's kind of a weird area. And let's... Hmm. One person on either side of these. You, Assault, let's run you over here. You take an aim shot if you see anybody. So there is someone dead over here, so I'm suspecting there's probably another alien in this area. Um... Say none. Problem is, you can only really see if there is light or if, um... Say none. If there is, like, a street light like these, or if, uh... Just going on. What do you call it? Yeah, either a street light or, you know, within range of a headlamp kind of thing. shot and turn. There's the enemy. Well, there's an enemy, perhaps. I suspect there's, there's, I don't know. I would be surprised if there weren't also, you know, some people in, uh, Not in cover, but in, uh... Don't know what those are, so I'm tempted to... Uh, it's a flare. This one, please. Thank you. Cost 30 to shoot a grenade. Okay. So he is suppressed. That's good. Um, no, 
You can't get up to there. You can get up to there. Damn it. No luck. Uh, I will... You go over to there and then kneel down. You... There, and then... Wait, you go to here. And then kneel down as well, because we can probably get a decent shot on you. You are an assault, so you come up here. Might just have to run around the corner and shotgun your ass. <laughs> well, probably running around the corner and shotgunning it is, then. Um... Everybody. Just want to make sure everybody takes a shot at least. Um Everybody taking it. That's how people get experience. You take a shot, basically. So as long as as long as everybody, you know. Kinda gets a crack at everything. UFO's up there, okay. Let us, uh, you, Rifleman... So the last aliens are probably wounded and in there. Uh, which we can... we can totally deal with. Sniper... up there, please. And a crouch. Uh, you... Nope, you can't get there. Um, where's shotgun guy? You go over there. Again, because we're going to be breaching sort of into this, and it's a very small ship, so. Here, uh, and you. I'm trying to get you over here as well. Just want get, to get set up so that we can open this door and blast anything inside of it. Um, because I think that will be our best sort of bet. Oh shit! I mean, do that. Okay, um... So, you are dead. Um, you... Okay, very good. Well, you can't hit him again. Blocked. Good. Shot him. Awesome. So, uh, unfortunately, uh, only one civilian survived, so we didn't do good there. Um, but, we did kill five aliens. We didn't lose anybody. Uh, everybody's, um, uh, I don't know what a lot of these are. Accuracy, I know that. Bravery. Um, 
Tuss. I don't know what a Tuss is, but we... Yeah, three alien guards destroyed, two non-combatants destroyed. Uh, we got 12 alien plasma batteries, one alien plasma pistol, three alien plasma rifles, and we have some more research. Uh, so we have a bunch of stuff to research. I'm going to actually go to the research screen and add plasma pistol to research. Uh, well, we should be able to, right? Nope, not yet. Okay. Meanwhile, this one, intercept. Uh, you are rearming. Let's see. Uh, intercept. Yes, go. Launch. Let us just auto-resolve to victory, then return to base. Uh, this is another crash site. Okay, let me uh, check our drop ships at the moment. Everybody is... Everybody's still doing all right. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so next time we will... Uh, we will be going and... Hopefully destroying that. Uh, or well, not destroying it, but landing there and actually catching some more. But we will uh, we will leave that for now. Uh, so I'm Adam. This is Xenonauts, and we'll see you later. Take care.